Yes, Mystery Steam Reviews is the part of the PC Gaming Week spot where I, Colin Mahern, and he, Matthew Castle, test the knowledge of one another via Steam Reviews that are a mystery. And the rules are as follows. Both I and Matthew bring three Steam Reviews to the MSR Arena, but we omit the name of the game associated with each review. Our opponent must correctly guess the game attached to each review. One correct answer equals one point. While both of us have 90 seconds on each MSR... We both also have help in the form of three lifelines. These lifelines can be used at any stage during battle and also pause the 90 second timer. Each lifeline, however, can only be used once and once only, and they are as follows. Publisher, where the hot seat haver learns the publisher of the game. A second opinion, where a second review is given to the fiery chair sitter. And genre, where the genre of the game is revealed to the one and never has this been more apt with the warm why is that apt? Well, Matthew, because this week's theme is all about romance. Uh, because... What's that got to do with warm asses? Well, it's... Come on, Matthew. It's got a lot to do with warm arses. Um, so, yeah, basically video games that have romance options, not video games that just I've have... I've romance wrong. ...a romantic story. Uh, ones where you can choose between characters and it is fairly we've left it pretty open it's up to interpretation to yeah. whatever you want um, so yeah let's see how we get on uh, Matthew here is your very first Mystery Steam review it's a bit like a funny slapstick version of The Matrix overall this is a very entertaining game Glad I bought the Century Edition. And that's from Bootsy. It is recommended 43.5 hours on record, 22.9 hours at review time. Matthew, your time starts now. I mean... God. Slapstick version of The Matrix. The Century Edition. I have not heard of the Century Edition, so I'm going to ignore that. I mean... Only because we mentioned it earlier in the show, there's Saints Row, which is a bit Matrixy. But does the Saints Row games have romance in them? I don't know the Saints Row games well enough. I think they do have romance in them. I think it's a bit like sort of a little bit Mass Effecty. Um, which Saints Row was that? Oh, with this one which is called like Enter the Cyber Bollocks or something. <laughs> it's it's uh. Is it that? It feels like it's that. Saints Row. Which one is that? There's the one where you become the president. That's four. Is that the same thing? Oh, Jesus. What is it called? Is it enough to say Saints Row 4? Or is there, is it a DLC? Like, there's, there's, Gat, there's Gat Out of Hell. There's that one. That's the Hell one. I don't think there is a five. I think it's four. I think four is the one which was a bit like the Matrix. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Saints Row Four. Is that your final answer? I think so. I think I can't think of any other games which are like the slapsticky version of the Matrix. So, the slapsticky Matrix. Unless it's freaking. The, the slope, whatever it is, Ped, my uncle Pedro. <laughs> that led you to <laughs> uncle to Pedro. Saints Row, maybe, and which we had spoken about earlier on during yeah. this episode of the PC Gaming Week Spot. <laughs> maybe it tweaked something in your head. Um, your th- is it Saints Row? Is it one of the the the, the side uh, spin-offs? Is it is it which which Saints Row could this be? You've ended up on Saints Row Four. I can tell you, Matthew, that the correct answer is Saints Row Four. Oh, that's the one where you become president at the start, right? That is the one where you become How president at the start. How does it then start. go Matrixy? I can't remember the story. Uh, I t- it, I can't. But are you is it you, aliens? I believe so. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and uh, the romance options is that you have a crew and you can uh, just have sex with. 
anyone you want on the crew. Matthew, could I have my first Mystery Steam review, please? Save files are enormous for no real reason. Combat is agonizing. It won't stop trying to shove a card game down my throat. Quests are muddled and annoying to try and complete more than one at a time. Trying to improve your gear is an RNG fest and dull at best, says Elm Jack. They do not recommend this game with 36.5 hours on record. Time starts now. That's a lot of time to put into something to then go, yeah, not for me. Um... Right. There's there's one that sticks out in my head. And there's one part of this that really... Uh, feels more more important than the rest and that is the shove a card game down my throat maybe it's a trap maybe it's a trap but yeah that makes me think of Gwent because in that as Geralt you can romance Triss and Yennefer Mm -hmm. talks about gear Mm -hmm. I think this is the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Mm -hmm. Mm. Now I'm trying to think I don't know if Dragon Age has a card game mm-hmm. I don't know enough about Dragon Age The thing is to whether to, to use a lifeline or just go for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt I'm going to say The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt I'm going to take a punt ah. Is that your final answer? Uh, yes Chris that is my final answer so, you focused in here on the line, shove a card game down your throat. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt does have a card game, but so do many other RPGs. The correct answer is... The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Yes! I knew it. When I wrote that one down, I was thinking, I was thinking... That card line is maybe a bit easy, but should probably. Uh, I was really umming and ahhing about it. I now hate my past self. Matthew, your second mystery Steam review is as follows. I love this game so much. This game is an adult and mature oriented puzzle video game. Described by me as an <laughs> quote unconventional <laughs> romantic horror. The story involves so much drama. Also, the soundtrack is great. And that's from Arc29. Arc29. It is a recommended 14.8 hours on record, 2.4 hours at review time. Matthew, your time starts now. Adult, mature, oriented puzzle video game. I say it's an unconventional romantic horror, but we don't know if this person's like... A maniac or not, so... <laughs> described by me? Uh, described by me, which could mean anything. <laughs> d- d- described by me is a highly interactive sandwich. Uh, you're like, well, okay, but it's not how this works. Um, give me the publisher for this. Okay, pausing the timer at 58 seconds. As Matthew uses his publisher lifeline. The publisher of this video game is... Let me find it here. Uh, Where the... Where is the publisher? Oh, here. Publisher this is... Sega. Publisher of this game is Sega. Restarting the timer. 58 seconds now. Sega... Romance, horror, puzzle, Sega. Not, not a Yakuza game. Horror, Sega. Uh, romance, horror. But Sega published this. Wow. What is second opinion, please? Oh, pausing the time. Oh, no. Ah, uh, shit. Why is the timer not pausing? I'll give you an extra couple of seconds. 22 seconds of pause that, but you probably get an extra five or so. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, don't get smart with me just because they <laughs> yeah, are so under pressure. Just five extra seconds. <laughs> All right. Second opinion of this is 
This is one of those games that should be played once in your lifetime. It is an extremely hard puzzle game with an interesting cast of characters and a well thought out story that will leave you hooked until the end. Get this game so we can get other exclusives onto PC. I'll leave a bit of a grace period there for the old timer. And unless you want to use your genre, I shall restart the timer. 22 seconds. Let me start No. I mean, the only thing I think this could be is Persona 4 Golden, but I wouldn't say puzzle game. Puzzle? It's not a puzzle game. What the fuck is it? It's not a puzzle game. But it's nightmarish. It's a bit horror-y. A little bit. Oh, Jesus. Persona Doom? 4 Golden. Doom colon Persona 4 Golden. Um, alright. So... This one stumped you a little bit. Quite descriptive, described by that person as a mature puzzle horror game or whatever it was. The publisher, Lifeline, revealed it to be Sega. You play Second it opinion, once. spoke mm. about wanting more exclusives on PC, implying that this was initially not on PC and then came to PC. You've ended up on Persona 4 Golden. I can tell you, Matthew, that the correct answer is... Catherine. Oh, Catherine. Oh, of course it is. Puzzle game. Persona 4 isn't a puzzle game. I just assumed it was an idiot. That's my problem. I assume so many people are dumb. And it's always the undoing of me. If only I could learn a bit of respect for a fellow man. But unfortunately, I can't. Mm. Because I've read their Steam reviews. I know what people are like. Of course it's Catherine. Oh, right, the fella, I was completely in the wheelhouse. Oh, I was, I was just a game adjacent to it. Piss. Matthew, could I have oh, my piss. second mystery Steam review, that please? That was a good pick. Well picked. Th thank you, thank you. I cringed the entire time. The dad jokes aren't even funny dad jokes, and it's decidedly PG, which is disappointing. Says Starch Boy. They don't recommend it after 3.3 .3 hours. Time starts now. Oh. I cringe the entire time. The dad jokes aren't even funny dad jokes. That's PG. Hmm. Dad jokes. Cringy. PG. What were they expecting? <laughs> uh, what lifeline helps? What lifeline helps? Shit, hold on. Dad jokes, it's cringy. And it's PG. That's a funny one. Like, what were they? Is it Doom? Were they expecting? No, because that's. I mean, you go into Doom expecting something that isn't PG, and it's decidedly on PG. Um. Oh, mm. Uh, pausing timer 31 seconds. Matthew, could I use my. Could I have my publisher? The Please? publisher is Game Grumps. Uh, restart the timer now. Shit. Um, they did do a game. I remember this. Um. Uh. Oh, right. Dad jokes. Dream Daddy. Dream Daddy, Chris. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Well, incidentally, Dream Daddy, Chris, is how I like to be known in my spare time. You have, uh... Focused in on this one after getting Game Grumps. But is this the game they made? The correct answer is... Dream Daddy. Matthew, your third and final mystery Steam review is as follows. I get it when people like this game. There is always a to-do list. It brings back SNES. Memories, probably. Uh, and it's super easy to learn. For me, there was a certain point, about 15 hours in, that I asked myself, 
Why am I playing this dumb game? It's repetitive and a boring supply crafting chain game. At the end of the day, you play this game because you have way too much time on your hand and you're really bored. That's from Spartan Rock. It's not recommended. 12.3 hours on record. 12.2 hours at review time. Matthew, your time starts now. Right, SNES memories. That feels important. Why am I playing this dumb game? It's repetitive. A supply crafting chain game. What the frick does that mean? Uh, give me the actual genre. Uh, okay, <laughs> pause the timer at 1.13. <laughs> uh, the actual genre of this is... A supply craft chain... No, it is no. a... Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> it is a simulation role-playing video game. A simulation role-playing video game. Restarting the timer, one thirteen now. S a supply chain game. That makes me think of, like, the factory, you know, Factorio and things like that, but that's not... I'm pretty sure that doesn't have romance in it. Um, unless I really misunderstood what those games are like. Um, a supply chain game, role-playing, SNES... SNES. Maybe it's retro stuff, like... Supply chain game with retro? How is that for me? Uh... Oh, oh no, I know what this is. Um, farming one. Like Harvest, it's like Harvest Moon. Star of Dew Valley. I think. SNES. Romance, the other farmers. Yeah. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. A supply chain crafting game, or whatever it was. That's not a very sexy way of describing this, but if it is this. The genre revealed it to be a simulation, life simulation, role-playing game, whatever it was, which has led you to say Stardew Valley. But is it the right answer, Matthew? The correct answer is... Stardew Valley! Well done, you pulled that one out of the bag right, right at the death there, Matthew. Could I have my third and final Mystery Steam review, please? If you want to see all of the story content, you'll have to make run after run after run to feed the endless roguelike casino, when the core gameplay is really nothing more than a gussied up version of Turtles in Time. Says Cats and Brow, not recommended after 27.2 hours. Uh, time starts now. Ooh. Okay, so it is a roguelike. If you want to see all of this, you'll have to make run after run to feed the endless roguelike casino. Nothing more than a gussied up version of Turtles in Time. So it is a co-op brawler? With roguelike elements? Or is it just a brawler? Well done. Uh, pausing the timer at 59 seconds. Matthew, could I have my second opinion and genre, please? If you like playing the safe the same four levels over and over to the narration of effeminate male voices, this is your game. Okay. Um and what's the other one? Genre. This is a roguelike action dungeon crawler. Okay. Race down the timer, 59 seconds now. A roguelike action dungeon crawler. Uh, if you like playing the same four levels over and over to... The narration of effeminate male voices. Roguelike... Um, Turtles in Time brawler. With romance options. Jesus. Is it obvious? A feminist male narration, it said, is it? To the narration of effeminate male voices. In the opinion of this reviewer. Um. 
run after run. Uh, Hades. Fucking back of the net. Hades. Is that your final answer? <laughs> That's my final answer, Chris. Very overconfident. <laughs> Why the sudden confidence burst? I was just... Roguelike with romance options. Narration with effeminate male voices. Brawler, tur like the turtles in time, like a brawler. Four levels. The correct answer. No, if it's not. <laughs> is. Babies. Fair play. Fair play to you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Um... That was good. That was good. Good. Good clues. Good. Very descriptive, like reviews. Yet still enough to. Well, that's that's enough. what I was going for. That's what it's, I was going for. It's the, oh, the 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 trick to a good mystery steam. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm more like I'm more interested in the episode being good rather than my performance being good. Of course, of course, um, because you know a natural born entertainer. Nothing if not a professional.